Hey guys, back with another build. This time I'm gonna be building Dante. Now I know that <laughs> this patch he got some nerves, especially with his line of sight where he can't just randomly nuke an entire room anymore or like three rooms of uh or the other three rooms beside him. But I still think he's really good because I don't actually play him as a multiple room nuker. I actually have played him as a literal mage, as in actually just spam abilities. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the build. This build does not require green charts, but it is very useful because it stacks with Tempest Barrage, which is a uh, uh, hydroids for skill that gives uh, e every every time a rain drop falls on an enemy it does corrosive damage so I can armor strip with two of these and I'm pairing it up with uh, viral tempest for viral status effect and yeah that's why these there's a uh, two green shards and I'm using this uh, you need three yellow shards uh, you don't need a Tau Forge, but it is really good if it is a uh, Tau Forge. Uh, and uh, yeah, the reason why is because he has a pretty slow casting speed, and I just want to keep spamming. As you can see here, uh, each ability costs either 6, yeah, 6.25, and his ult costs 2.5, 12.5, with both. Fleeting expertise and uh, streamline. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna be using Nautilus as a pull mechanic, as you saw from the previous video, and Hellstrom for extra priming. I guess you don't really need it. All you need is Nautilus. But yeah, I'm going to the build. Corrosive projection for less armor. If you don't want to use Tempest Barrage, you can use this. I'm using this because, well, I don't actually need power strength that much power strength on him. So this is for ease of use, I guess. Uh, you don't have to cast Viral Tempest a lot of times if you don't want to. Fleeting Expertise rank 4 because 175 is the cap, as you can see. It does nothing. Streamline, more efficiency, flow for energy, continuity, normal continuity too, intensify and auger secrets for double strength, stretch for range and power drift for more strength. As you can see there's no arcanes, I'm going, to, this build is more on the friendlier side, uh, this is as friendly I can make, I'm not gonna lie, I can't make it better. But yeah, I think you guys can make it better, but who knows. But yeah, this is the build. So, I'm gonna test it on some 195 Heavy Gunners first on Steel Path. Of course, I'll be using Madurai. Casting speed and power strength. And, uh... Third cast, and boom, they're all dead. Yep. That's, that's, that's his build. Yes. I'm gonna test it now on uh, replay in uh, sale key to see his energy efficiency. Yeah, he Dante is really strong still. So it doesn't matter. His nerf didn't really do anything to him. Maybe multiple multi room looking, but that's all. Damn, I keep getting this map or this specific tell set. But yeah, all you gotta do is cast two twice, boom, overguard, even though the overguard also got her. Yeah, look at that. Beginner build, by the way. Energy. Not too much of a problem right now, right? I cast twice. And uh, yeah, 
Is Dante? Sure, he doesn't have his looking potential anymore. But he's still really strong. He's still new. Oh wait, let me let me uh get my stun prime ready for the acolyte. Uh, yeah, he can't kill acolyte. Sadly, I need energy. At least get get at least one energy plate, guys, because. I don't have preparation on this build, so it's kind of meh. So yeah. This energy consumption, not bad. Efficiency is not bad. It's better if you have Arcane Energize, of course. Or if you don't have Arcane Energize, you can literally just put plates. It's in the dojo. I think it's in the uh, energy lab. And it costs a hundred thousand credits. So you can like go there, get energy, look people. Yeah. Dante is still strong and with the green shards you can see uh how cast choice. They get armor strip. Like not that hard. But you don't need green shards. I'm just I just have it for armor stripping with Barrel Tempest. It's very fun. This build has been my go-to build uh, for si since he his release. Right. I don't play him as like a rune leader because I really want Dante to be like an actual mage. Like an actual, actual mage. Just spamming abilities, do some MMO mage stuff, be broken in a way where they can have high damage and high spam ability. As you can see here, energy is still fine after refilling it. After refilling it with uh, my energy pads. It's not bad. It's fun. It's pretty efficient. Uh, I wish I can make it more efficient, but that requires equilibrium and uh, one of the Sentinel mods, I forgot what it's called, but it converts, uh, or there's a 25% chance where if a Sentinel hits a target, uh, they drop health orbs and it synergizes as well with equilibrium. Oh, look at that. And there's gonna be a... Uh, Acolyte. Hello. 3, 4, 5. Eh, there you go. Acolyte dead. Might have to build a Sun Prime soon because, like, there was someone who wanted a Sun Prime build. I don't know if it's for Acolyte specific, but I'm gonna make the Acolyte specific build. Because all you need is just corrosive and a lot of crit, that's all. Actually, Mage. Mage Dante. This is how... This is what I think DE uh, tried to make Dante. Like, I don't think... He, I don't think they intended him to have like hyper light of sight. But... As you can see, it's still a fun build. Of course, as KPM dropped, right? Not as much anymore. But it's still so fun. Hyper Mage Dante. Energy is still fine, as you can see. I'm all. I'm gonna keep talking about energy because uh, I haven't actually tested the efficiency of it, and it looks decent. It's not bad. Yeah. But yeah, this is the build. Hyper Mage Dante. One, two, three. Bam. Yep, that is all. Uh, people complaining about Dante. Yeah, he got nerfed, sure. But it's not as uh, horrid as Neja. The Neja nerf was really way too much. 
Dante got a slap on the wrist. I'm not gonna lie. You exist to strike. You strike. Like he didn't really get there. The he still has enough damage. He still has overguard. That's still pretty strong. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it for Dante. I will have to do another recap because, you know, I don't think I recap. Uh, just in case, just in case. So, the build, right? This is the build not no arcades this is threat as beginner friendly i can make yeah that's all green shards for tempest barrage three yellow shards for uh casting speed and madurai for both casting speed and bar strength and nautilus for pulling enemies all right that, that's all yeah. goodbye guys <laughs>